Because of COVID and all the changes that were going on, I didn't want to lose something else that was comfortable for me. So I kept the same wallet for eight months. Hello and welcome back to Walletopia. I haven't seen your my face for a while. I'm Sydney. I do long-term carries and I'm my dad's daughter, obviously. I just didn't want to change wallets. So I have been holding on to the Kinds Slim wallet for eight or nine months now and I'm finally getting around to reviewing it. My very, very long-term carry on this wallet. So we'll get right into it. So I'm going to be doing a simple feature overview if you want to see the full feature overview go ahead and click on the link in wherever it's going to be and so let's just get right into the features so as I said this is the Kinds slim wallet in crazy horse leather leather as always will wear and tear as you use it so some of the features are it has three card slots it has a pocket on both sides has a pot for your ID with another wall, uh, card slot up here and it has a lovely pocket on the inside that I was using for cash so that's a quick overview. So as far as my likes and dislikes about this wallet, I will start with my likes. So I really liked this wallet in particular because it was so compact, it's so small, it just sits right on my hand. I would usually put this in my jacket pocket or my, my pants pocket, throw it in my backpack because I don't carry a purse. I just dislike that. So I like compact wallets. I did like how my ID was just very easily visible. So if I needed to show my ID, I could just quickly slide it out, grab it without having to open something and wiggle it all out. I did like how it had a spot for cash, which most wallets do. I just like how this one was really on the inside. I could also fit some cards in there without it being um, overly stuffed and uh, sticking out. I do have less cards than I did last time I was carrying a wallet because a lot of places are switching over to apps, which is kind of annoying. Um, anyway, and so I have three cards here, two cards, I think two cards and all my uh, license and my insurance cards right here. It easily fit everything that I needed it to and I could... Um, just see what I needed to right when I needed it. As far as my dislikes go, when I was wanting to get my cards out of this in particular, this one was really easy to pull in and out. It's this middle one that even right now I'm having a hard time kind of sliding it out because yeah, it's it goes in pretty far <laughs> and this one doesn't go in as far and so I don't really have nails or anything, like long nails, so it was a little bit harder for me to get that one out. And even this front one was a little bit hard to get in and out. Um, this area, not that you'd use it very often, just it was just a little tight. And considering I have been carrying it for a few months, I was hoping that the leather would be a little bit looser after quite some time. Eh, it was only about so-so. I could fit more cards in here over time with all my insurance cards. And it's not as, like, eh. I didn't like how all the cards would go up here. It was kind of nice when I was just flipping it over so I could quickly look at it, but if you look at it at the profile view, it's just a little bit bulky on this one side, which just kind of looked funny when it was sitting in my pocket, but other than that, I actually didn't have too many big complaints or issues with this wallet. This is the Kinds Slim Wallet in Crazy Horse Leather. Overall, I really, really enjoyed it. If you look really closely, I have some beautiful wear and tear of this leather. I love it. Just natural natural lookingness to it and I would definitely suggest this wallet to anybody and I'm actually really sad to have to be moving on to my next wallet and I would definitely suggest this wallet to anybody who is really into just a really simple slim wallet that has just a few cards and likes to carry some cash so there you go go ahead and follow us and give this video a like if you liked it thank you